years of service, for the number of faculty, staff, colleagues that he has touched, but most importantly for the number of students that you've inspired, that you've touched thousands who will never come and thank you. But let me thank you on behalf of them. Yes. Let, allow me to thank you on behalf of the thousands of students that you've impacted. There's something that I was a little worried about. It's what about Uncle Sam, Big Tex, Abraham Lincoln, and who can forget Rambo? He always has the answer. Um, so, Dad, from our family, we want you to know how proud we are of you. We know you're not going to sit still very long. That's not in your nature. <laughs> um, so we know that you're going to enjoy some things and maybe do some things that you really want to do. And we want you to know we love you. You said you've only taught for 53 years. Um, we're, we're very pleased that you're going to continue with your show. He played the part of Chopin. <laughs> and he's still doing it. I'm not letting you go. Uh, this, this September 17th, you're already committed to be there in your Chopin costume. But thank you for everything you have done for everybody. As in all of Leon's costumes, he had a much higher purpose, and that is to teach his students about current and past events and their impact on the world. And who cared so much for our students who had disabilities in his class. That was never a barrier for him. So thank you for everything. You're a wonderful, wonderful friend, and you will continue to be a wonderful friend. <laughs> our discipline will be losing a friend and colleague. EPCC will be losing a dedicated faculty member and community advocate a unique character, and a wonderful example of what teaching and student dedication is all about. Leon, we love you and we miss you, and I thank you for being my friend. We're very, very pleased that you're gonna to continue to do that. So we, we, will, we will not say goodbye. We will just say congratulations and welcome to the next chapter of your illustrious life. Thank you for all that you've done for our students. Thank you all so much. It's been great. El Paso Community College has been good for me, and I've tried to be good for El Paso Community College. So we're glad that you showed up today to see the exhibit. Uh, it's been quite a trip for me because of staying in one place for 44 years. Uh, recently, a writer for the El Paso Inc. and the Senior Plus publication uh, came and talked to me at the International Museum of Art before our exhibit uh, took place. And he was commenting about the fact that I was old. 78 years old and he said you don't look 78 and I said well I don't feel 78 and I, I gave him a quote that I don't think old I just think and so I think that's helped me because I just take it one day at a time sweet Jesus just one day at a time uh, my knees are worn out from all that wild dancing with some of you out there and uh, but I'm still still going and appreciate all of that this is what this looks like in this volume are those stories now, I have written this mainly for my wife and my children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, so they can read about these things that I did at El Paso Community College and other places in this period of time, years in the future. Their people will be Thank you very much. Okay, family.